Welcome back for another Transfer Tuesday, the day in which we review all the progress, big or small, we've been able to make towards our goals over this last week. We've been working really hard to improve our financial health over the last year, year and a half, and we have now moved on to working on our emergency fund as our primary goal. We don't have as much margin or as much money left over at the end of our budget now that we have more money going towards retirement. But like I said, even those small transfers each week really add up over time. So let's take a look and see how these numbers stack up. The first overlay today of our spreadsheet is a pit stop we made in Missouri on our way down to Arkansas to see the eclipse. We like to stop and stretch our legs, make sandwiches, all that good stuff. But I just really wanted to share this picture because it feels so celebratory of spring. Missouri is further along into the spring season than we are here in northern Minnesota. Though I did notice our willow trees are starting to bud and we decided to bring our hammock out, get that set up. The weather has been so much nicer recently. Have you been seeing signs of spring where you are? All right, let's see how these numbers break down. Up here at the top, we have our emergency fund. We've saved three months worth of expenses so far, and we are working on month four. So this week, we were able to add $218.89 from Joel's paycheck. This used to be closer to like six, $700 that we were able to add to our goals when Joel got paid but we are now putting money aside for our Roth every paycheck. Month four is sitting at $1,600. We have $838 left to save and we're at 66% funded. This week did bump us over $9,000 that we have in our savings account now and we have $5,800 left to save. We're at 61% complete for our six month emergency fund. And our secondary goal right now is building my CD ladder. This is a 12 month emergency fund that I'm building over like five to 10 years. It's gonna take me some time. I'm putting all the extra bits and bobs from various things towards this. I'm putting just a little bit of our paycheck money, but also extra little things that come in like Etsy sales and also our credit credit card cash back. This week I had an Etsy sale. Thank you so much. And then also credit card cash back. We had a lot this week. So $25 and 27 cents. And I'm thinking that this is related to all the spending we did on vacation and that finally hitting our account. And then we're doing the save $2,024 in 2024 challenge from Madeline Budgets. And this week we colored in the square for $45. Total for all of these is $71.96. So I'll type that in here. Enter. That will bring our May CD up to $202.84. And for this, I won't add the money to it until May 1st, which is when my 12 month May CD matures. We have $22.97 left to go for this specific CD and it's 8% funded now. So that's really exciting to see. Here's a look at where all our CDs are sitting for each month. My initial goal for this year was to get each CD up to $100 starting with our December one. But now I'm a little more hopeful that we can get these up to maybe even $250 for each one. And currently we have $762 in CDs. $29,000 left to save, but we're at 3% complete. Our next section is travel, and usually we put money that we make from donating plasma towards this, but we haven't been donating recently, but I still just want to keep it on here as something that is a priority for our family. And the last one we have on here is our miscellaneous section, and we have a lawn tractor on here. We are doing the 100 envelope challenge. Basically, you save the number that's on each envelope until you complete all 100 numbers. We're on number 52. We're doing it in sequential order. So we've gone all the way from one up to 52 now. And once that's complete, we'll have $5,050. So $52. And that brings our total up to $1,378. We have 36.72 left to go and it's 27% completed. In case you missed it, I'm trying out not sharing our weekly budget for each Transfer Tuesday. This upcoming Thursday, I'll actually share our bi-weekly budget instead of our weekly budget, just because that's a better overall picture of what our percentages are for bills, 
investing, all that sort of thing. So don't forget to subscribe so you can catch that video. I also want to start sharing some non-financial goals. So on Friday, I'm going to share our 12-week year progress. I also love hearing about what you're working on. So share down below what progress, big or small, you've made towards your goals in the last week or what progress you're hoping to make towards goals in the upcoming week. All right, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.